Let's take a quick look at this Bluetti AC2A. So this is the smallest model that Bluetti is offering now. And it basically is a direct competitor to the River 2, right? The standard EcoFlow River 2 and that new Jackery 300 Plus. I mean, they're, they're, it's kind of in the range of that. So we're going to take a look at it and we're going to compare it, right? This is what we do on this channel. And so this is a small unit. I mean, 204 watt hours, right? I mean, that's pretty small. And in fact, you know, only 7.9 pounds, right? So less than eight pounds. And it is LFP batteries, you know, so this isn't some, you know, lightweight NMC unit. It, it's just, it's lightweight because it's so small, right? And uh, what's interesting is that if you take a look at it in this picture, <laughs> um, this is kind of a funny picture. I don't know. Um, I don't know. It's like this, it looks huge, <laughs> right? I mean, it looks huge. And, but that's not the only thing. It's almost like, I don't know. It's like these people, their their heads are too small or something, right? So um, yeah, it's kind of just um, it's just kind of a funny picture. But actually, if you look at some of these other ones that they have here, like this, you know, that it seems about right in this picture, right? And uh, there you go. You can see the dimensions as well. And for the inverter, it's actually got a 300 watt inverter, right? So 300 watt pure sine wave. And, you know, that's kind of what we expect to see in a small unit like this. Now, the thing that they like to advertise here is the 600 watt, right? The, with the power lifting feature. Now, this is, you know, it's going to drop the voltage, right? So you can only use it, like they say here, with purely resistive, resistive loads, hair dryers, electric kettles. Now, the thing is, you know, this is, you're going to have to find some, like, very small versions, like mini versions of these kind of devices that you might want to power, right? Like this one here that they're showing, it might be, it might work with something like this. It looks kind of like a mini George Foreman or like a mini waffle maker. Something like that, basically something that's going to be between, normally, it would be between 300 and 600 watts, right? It just, it won't put out as much heat as it normally would and it will take longer, but still it can power it. And then for the charging, this is actually incredible specs. This is by far the best in the in its class or in in any class, <laughs> really. Forty minutes to eighty percent, they're saying. So two hundred and seventy watts going into this thing. And remember, it's only what two hundred and four watt hours, right? So that's you know super fast. And then of course you know after you do about eighty percent charge, they will slow it down. And you can charge with solar and AC at the same time. Okay, but you can never exceed the 270 watt cap, right? But what's interesting and nice about this is it does say that it will prioritize solar, right? So if you have both of them uh, hooked up, you know, and you do actually have some sunshine, it will actually use the solar, right? And it, and it won't use the wall charge or, or it'll use less from the wall, right? So, you know, it's just always a good idea. It's just, you know, if you have, if you invested in solar panels, you know, you might as well get power from them, right? And the solar specs on this thing are actually pretty good for such a small unit. I mean, actually, actually they're really good. 200 watts, you know, 200 watt max on this. So, you know, they're showing like this right here is probably their PV200, you know, their, their 200 watt solar panel. And it's just, you know, the voltage range is nothing special. It's 28 volts, right? Which we can expect in this, a small unit like this. And it's, I think, only 10 amps. But the thing is, I would say is this is like double the solar that like the River 2 can do, which is 110. And um, the Jackery 300 Plus can only do 100. And they're using that finicky USB-C uh, input as well. So that's kind of like... You know, and you can use the app, the Blue Eddy app with this unit as well. So that's nice. Simple UPS, 20 milliseconds or less switch over on that, right? But again, this is only for small loads, right? This, just a small load. But still, that's nice. Um, maybe you just have a little computer, right? That just uses like 100 watts or something. That'd be good. That'd be good. That'd be perfect. And it'll just, you know, it'll keep it on. Then for the design, this thing, this thing looks great for such a small power station that's, you know, it's obviously a budget unit, you know, the uh, affordability is a, is a big appeal here. It just, it, lo it looks real nice. Now, obviously, it looks real similar to all their other power stations. So, but yeah, I mean, you get the same kind of design as like their $2,000 model in this little model, right? 
So that's appealing. We do actually get the upgraded screen as well. This one actually debuted on the AC70 and the new AC200L. So it's almost the same. It just doesn't have quite as much information on it, but it's still an improvement over the screen like on the EB3A and the AC180, right? It's just, uh, it's a little bit easier to see it, read it. It's brighter. It's, the contrast is better, you know, so it's just, it's nice to see that. And then we, is it does have the handle, fixed handle on top, but you know, they had to sacrifice, Blue Eddy likes to put wireless chargers on a lot of these units. They had to sacrifice that, right? There's, there's just not much room up there. But well, what's nice about this and something that I just kind of like better than like the River 2, for example, is that it doesn't stick out of the back, right? Like the River 2, it, it kind of, the handle sticks out. And then the Jackery 300 Plus has that folding handle, which, you know, is nice, except that, you know, it feels flimsy. It's, it's, it's cheap. It just feels cheap, right? So it's, it's a good idea, the folding handle, but it just, you know, at the end of the day, it just doesn't feel that great in your hand. This is gonna feel like a real solid product, right? So yeah, it's just something to take a look at. And um, yeah, hopefully you just found this helpful and thanks for watching.